Morning everyone, Trevor the Aviator here, where it is 3.20 in the morning here at Chicago Hare International Airport. But today I am going to be taking another trip where I have a little break in college, where today I'm going to be headed down to Houston, Texas, where we are going to be flying on the United 737 MAX 9. And I'm very excited to fly on this, as this will be my second flight on the MAX. And we'll see what this flight has to offer. Upon arriving at Terminal 1, I ended up arriving just early enough where security wasn't even open yet. It felt so weird being here this early and being almost empty. I did not need to get a printed copy ticket since I had one on my phone, so I was able to bypass the lines. And then once security began to open up, I went straight over and sure enough, I was the third person in line for the entire morning. And with that, it went very smooth and easy. We just got through security now and now the airport's starting to get a bit busy. So yeah, at first it was empty and now it's starting to all of a sudden get pretty busy. So now to wait for the flight. As I waited for the flight, I figured I could wander around to see what was going on while it still wasn't too busy since it was 4.30 in the morning. With this, it felt pretty quiet inside which felt very peaceful compared to later in the day when it becomes busier. During this time, I just had to put the Brachiosaurus in the video while also doing a little bit of exploring around the airport as well which I just love to do. As I wandered around, the only things that were really open was McDonald's and like two other places, which I'm not too surprised being this early in the morning. I then decided to go in the underground pathway. I enjoy this part of the airport since in my opinion it just feels unique. This part of the airport however was pretty empty since all the flights before 6am was departing in Concourse B so it was not really worth spending too much time in there and I just decided to head back to my gate where I will be boarding my flight and seeing if everything is bigger in Texas.
I gotta admit, Chicago was very foggy the morning I left with stinks with not being able to see much of the city. Almost immediately after takeoff was when we got out of the cloud lair, despite still being a bit dark outside, but it was still pretty cool to be up in the air just before dawn, which was a nice good morning from the air. It felt weird with this time, since it felt longer than usual. As far as the inside of the plane goes, the seat that I was in felt very similar to other 737 flights I've been on. Everything was about the same, but I'm not complaining since it was a very comfortable seat that I was in. I also decided to take a look at the things in the back of the seat as well, and ve overall very comfortable despite being the same as previous flights. Now it has just approached the peak of dawn and very shortly we will be flying over St. Louis and the Mississippi River. Just after we passed through the St. Louis area was when it was time for the round of food for our flight. Today I received a Biscoff cookie and a Stroop waffle which was a little bit different than my last flight but very similar as well as a can of orange juice. I enjoyed it as I was looking out the window right when sunrise began which any sunrise on a flight in my opinion offers a gorgeous view. With this, it seemed to make the journey go by a lot faster than it did, and we passed over the state of Arkansas when this happened. With this, I continued to watch it happen as we began to experience the end of sunrise and began our descent into the Lone Star State.
When we landed in Houston, it was a beautiful morning where not only that, but it was completely sunny. I knew with this, it was going to be an amazing time as I prepare for a minor trip here. Overall, as far as the flight goes, the staff was very friendly and really cared about the customers. I had yet another great experience with them and was a very cheap flight too, which was even better. For my seat, I was very comfortable in. I did wish they had the TVs on this flight, however, but besides that, it wasn't too big of a deal. I would say this was probably the best flight that I have been on for a 737, and this was my second flight on a 737 MAX. It was only two hours too, and we actually landed a half hour early, which is excellent that United was able to get us down there even quicker. I really like flying this airline as well, and would recommend flying on it if you're looking at them for a future flight. Pro tip, if you are a college student, you will get a 15% discount on any United flight. As we continued to head to the gate, we were parked right next to a 777, which was very cool to see from the airplane as we were headed to the gate. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in watching more content, then go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, I hope to see you guys in my next video, and welcome to Houston.